Available at Vitamin Shop. Hi everybody, my name is Clay Guida. I fight in the lightweight division of the UFC. Um, got my big fight coming up against Diego Sanchez, June 20th, uh, live on Spike TV at the Palms in Vegas. Uh, it's going to be awesome, man. I appreciate um, all Muscle Farm support and uh, we're ready to get it down, man. June 20th, it's going to be great. Um, yeah, you know what, after, you know, my last loss against Roger Huerta was at the Palms, um, you know, December 8th of my 20, it was my 26th birthday, and, uh, you know, I walked out of the cage, you know, with my head down at disappointment, but it's uh, going to be a whole different story, man. Um, June 20th is going to tell the tale. I got three, you know, three wins against some, you know, pretty tough opponents, a couple of uh, ultimate fighter, you know, the ultimate fighter reality show champions. Um, Nate Diaz was my last victory, a real close split decision. Before that was uh, Mac Danzig, you know, beat him in a decision. Um, before that, ran through, uh, you know, a striker from France, Sammy Chavo. So we put together, I think, some pretty impressive victories. And um, it's going to roll right up to, you know, the Diego Sanchez fight. It's going to be my, my stiffest test yet. I'm looking forward to it. I always fight better against tougher competition. Um, you know, I'm a gamer. When it comes time to I get the crap kicked out of me in the gym, but when it comes, to, you know, time to perform, um, I'm the man for the job, man. I can't wait. Oh, my fighting style is just kind of all over. You know, more like a freestyle. Obviously, you know, my wrestling background is, you know, pretty extensive. I wrestled at a, you know, national championship uh, junior college team in Harper College, just out of, you know, outside of, um, you know, Chicago suburbs. Um, you know, wrestled since I was six years old. So it's, you know, I've been doing that my whole life. I've, you know, ground and pound. My striking is getting better every day, and we improve on it, you know, by leaps and bounds since, you know, the Diaz fight. So I'm really looking to, you know, stand and, and strike and, you know, push the pace in this fight on the feet. And if Diego thinks I'm just going to, you know, run and shoot for a takedown, he's going to be sadly mistaken. Also, if he thinks I'm just going to stand there and trade with him and get into a striking match, he's, you know, in for a big surprise. Because my fighting style is to make you fight my fight. That's what I don't think a lot of people do in the UFC or mixed martial arts alone. Um, I, you know, I put you in a, you know, a devastating, you know, spot in the fight, and you know, your back's up against the wall the whole time. You're, you know, just miserable, and that, you know, Diego's just going to be another guy, you know, in my way to the, you know, lightweight title. Things I've been focusing on as far as my, you know, my weaknesses, um, my striking. Everyone says, you know, Guida's hands, this and that. If you look at my last four or five fights, you know, I've stood and I think I've put together a good combination. Most of the fight has been on the feet when I feel like I need to get it to the ground. I'm all about strategy, game plan, game plan, game plan. To me, that's you know the sign of a true champion, someone that can switch something up, on a, you know in a split second. And I don't feel the need to be able to prove to the fans or to whoever that I can strike because you know it's I'm learning it. You know what I mean? It's I strike when I need to in the fight, and when I you know when I don't want to wrestle with a guy, then I'll stand and strike. If I feel a guy's wrestling is better than mine, I'll keep it on the feet. I'll sprawl. I'll make him stand with me. I think I fight a smart fight since the word the fight. I got caught up in his game of, you know, kind of just scrapping, brawling, this and that. Um, my, my wrestling is still, you know, weak. I, I, I train every week, every day in wrestling, you know, every day in jiu-jitsu. It's always something, you know, it's a constant, you know, progress. I, everything, I'm always trying to sharpen my skills. And, um, but, you know, like I said, um, I'm not, I'm not going to stand in front of Diego and trade punches with him. I'm going to, you know, make him stand in front of me and, you know, throw kicks and punches and strikes and, you know, when I feel like it, establish a takedown. Um, Diego Sanchez is all I have in my mind right now, but I'm also one of those competitors that looks, you know, to the bigger and better thing, the bigger picture. Um, I'm, not in the UFC, I'm not in the UFC to say that I fight for the UFC. I'm not one of those guys, oh, I'm a UFC fighter. I'm here to have that belt, to have that hardware, man. Um, I'm, to, to myself, I know I'm the best fighter, in, you know, pound for pound in the world in the lightweight division. There's some very impressive athletes out there. I know I rank up there with the best of them. I want to have that belt, man. I want to sit at home on my pedestal and whoever wants to, uh, you know, they're not going to give it to me. I know after I beat Diego, the UFC is probably not going to be knocking on my door to say, hey, here's a title shot. Um, I know that I've earned it. And if you look at my track record in the UFC, I fought for some pretty stiff competition. Um, if I finish, in, if and when I finish Diego in, you know, a good fashion, you just, you know, devastating victory, they're going to, you know, they can't deny me that shot. The thing is with the video game, they offered, they had me come out, did all the, the photo shoot, everything for the game, and um, Dana White, just as a joke, he offered me a bunch of money to cut my hair, and um, a couple weeks later, we found out that we weren't in the game, and I called Dana, talked to him, and he's, he's upset that I'm not in the game. Um, they could not perfect my hair to you know that's what they said they couldn't perfect my hair so they just all together got rid of me out of the game which is kind of a kind of an insult but you know what I mean after I smashed Diego 
Um, nothing against him, but the, you know, THQ is the makers of the you know the producers of the game. They're going to probably be scratching their head and saying, "Hmm, I think we should have him in the game." Or what if we made a big mistake? Or the UFC, you know, maybe should have pressed him a little bit harder. But um, you know what? It just feels the fire, man, for June twentieth. Nothing's you know going to get in my way mentally to um, you know stop me from victory on that night. Um, like I said once before, I just want to you know thank Muscle Farm. You guys stepping up short notice uh, to support. Uh, I want to thank uh, my parents for making it possible, my teammates at uh, Midwest Training Center in Chicago, uh, Gilbert Grappling in the suburbs. Um, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun that night. I want to thank the Chicago Carpenters Union, um, MMA Stop, and I want to thank uh, Silver Star as well. Check out the new Clay Guida shirt and uh, check out the, the fight, Spike TV, June 20th. Diego's going down. Available at Vitamin Shop.